10,000 years will give you such a crick in the neck. To infinity and beyond. Hakuna Matata? Yeah, it's our motto. What's the motto? Nothing. What's the motto with you? <laughs> Hey YouTube friends, it's Vicky. In this week's video, I am showing you guys how to make some retro Disney DIYs inspired by Disney movies from the 90s. All of these DIYs are inspired by some of my favorite Disney movies like Aladdin, Toy Story, and The Lion King. They are pretty easy to make. You only need a few supplies for each one of them. You may even have some of these supplies. So yeah, let's get to the video now. For the first DIY, I am going to show you guys how to make a notebook that looks like those old VHS movie covers. I think all 90s kids had a collection of these. I know at least I did. To make it, you are going to need a notebook, of course, I found these at the dollar store, and a movie cover printout of your favorite Disney movie. I picked The Lion King and Aladdin, and I will link you guys to these files below, but if you'd like any other movie, just do a Google search for the movie cover online. Once you print out your cover, you are going to want to cut it in order for it to fit your notebook. And if it doesn't fit it properly, try to resize it on your computer within either a Word document or Photoshop if you have that. Here I am measuring it against a notebook to make sure it fits right. And so once that was done, because my notebook was black, I wanted it to resemble a movie cover, so I painted the edges around the notebook with white acrylic paint. If you have a white notebook, then don't worry about this step. And so once your paint is dry, you are going to glue on your movie cover. I used some special craft glue. You can use what you'd like, but I would recommend going with something that's gonna have it last a little longer. In the end, I actually ended up covering it twice because I felt like it made it look a little bit better. And that is it! Your Disney VHS inspired notebook is ready for you to take notes or use as a journal. For the next DIY, I made a comfy cute sweatshirt that has a classic blue castle that used to be shown at the beginning of Disney movies. They've since replaced it with a new one. Whenever I see this intro, it makes me so nostalgic for when I was a kid. To make this, you are going to need a plain sweatshirt. You can pick the color of your choice. I wanted to stay within the blue theme. Then, taking iron-on transfer paper, which you can find online, you are going to print a flipped image of the castle onto the paper and then cut it out. I will link you guys to the image I used down below. Next, I took my sweatshirt and ironed out any wrinkles just to make sure everything went on smoothly. And once the sweatshirt cooled off, I positioned my castle in the way I knew I wanted to iron it on. I flipped it over and then just ironed it on. When you do this, make sure you don't burn your sweatshirt. I moved the iron around the paper for about a minute and tried to really focus around the edges so that it wouldn't peel off. Once you are done ironing, you are gonna wanna wait for at least two minutes to let it cool off. If you do not wait, the transfer is gonna peel right off. Once my sweater cooled off, I peeled the paper right off and voila! I absolutely love this sweater. I think it makes the perfect outfit for a comfy day at Disneyland. Moving on to the very last DIY, I'm gonna show you guys how to make this cute little bag inspired by the aliens from Toy Story. Can you guys believe that the first Toy Story came out over 20 years ago in 1995? And fun fact, the very first movie came out on November 22nd, which is my birthday. So this movie holds an extra special place in my heart. To make it, you are going to need green, blue, purple, white, and black felt material. Taking first the green felt material, you are going to fold it into three parts like so and then you are going to measure and cut a blue piece of the felt material to attach it to the bottom of the bag. This is supposed to resemble the sort of outfit that the aliens wear. You are also going to measure and cut a purple thin strap of felt material. Now to keep this really easy, you can either glue the sides of the bag, however, I sewed it on just because I wanted it to last a little bit longer. 
Once the sides of your bag are sewn together with a glue gun, glue the blue material to the bottom of the bag. I also sewed the edges together to make sure that it wouldn't fall apart later. And I basically followed the same steps and process for that purple strap. Except instead of attaching it to the front and back of the bag like I did with the blue, I just placed the one purple strip on the front. Moving on, I cut three circles out of white felt material and three smaller ones out of the black to make the eyes. And once my pieces were cut out, I glued them on with my glue gun. I placed them in a sort of curve instead of a straight line, since that is how the aliens have their eyes in the movie. Once the eyes were glued on, I cut two leaf-like shapes out of green felt material, folded them in half, and glued them at the center, and then glued them on to the sides of the bag. I also stitched these on to make them a little more durable. For the very last step, I took some self-adhesive Velcro and attached it onto the inside of the bag to be able to easily close and open. And of course, I also stitched these on. As you guys can see, it's kind of a trend. I mean, you don't have to do it. Like I said, you can glue it all together if you just wanna make it really easy. But if you want it to be a little more durable, just sew those pieces on. Oh, and one final step that I forgot to show you guys is that I also added, of course, this little antenna to the back of the bag because, of course, you can't forget that. And my friends, that is it. You can use this as a makeup bag or pencil case or, hey, if you add some straps to the sides, it could even work as a fanny pack that you could use at the parks. But I don't know, I'll leave that to you guys to decide. And so, yep, that is all I have for this week. Now go have fun and rep the 90s with all of your retro DIYs. If you like this video, make sure to let me know by liking down below and commenting. And also, if you have not already, subscribe and click on that little bell notification button so that you get notifications whenever I upload videos. And that way you don't miss out on them. Anyways, I'm leaving to Disneyland now with my new retro DIYs, so send you guys a big virtual hug, and I will see you guys next time.